Hello, kitty, kitty. You're so pretty, pretty. What's up, Montreal? It's Cinco de Mayo. I'm your host and best friend, Alex Melky, and this is Anchorman MTL. Now we can roll around in our underwear. Round two of the Stanley Cup playoffs is when it gets serious, and there's no team that Montrealers would rather beat than the Boston Bruins. Two games in, and both the Habs and the Bruins are tied up with one win each, so they're putting on a good show. Both games were extremely close and way too stressful to watch, but obviously you watched anyways. Unfortunately, some of Boston's their fans showed their true colors. Thousands of racist tweets came pouring out of Boston targeting P.K. Subban after he scored a winning goal. To the point where the N-word, and no, I'm not talking about noodles or nipples, you know which N-word I'm talking about, was trending on Twitter in Boston. On a lighter note, in case you didn't already know, Montreal's mayor is the biggest Habs fan in the city. So big, in fact, that he made a bet with the mayor of Boston that whichever city loses round two in the playoffs has to fly the opposing team's flag at City Hall. Just the thought of what Montrealers would do if the Bruins logo defiled our city hall gives me stress-induced ulcer. So let's just focus on winning for now, okay? <laughs> In case you didn't already know this, Japan has this thing called a vertical parking lot, which is what it sounds like. It's a parking lot with a pulley system that you can just park your cars upwards. It means a lot more parking spots in the city. Well, the city of Montreal was talking about adding a few of these over here, but Volkswagen Centreville beat them to it. Now, obviously, you can't go park your ride there just yet, but it is a sign of what's to come. No more trying to find a parking spot for three hours and then just going home and watching Netflix for the rest of the night. Oh, I don't know anything about physics, so don't quote me on that one. Remember Avril Lavigne? Well, Canada's punk princess is on tour right now. And for the low, low price of just $400, you could take a picture with her. There's only one catch though. You can't touch her, hug her, or be anywhere near her. This is made for some awkward pictures that'll just make you cringe. This is so bad. Seriously, I feel uncomfortable just looking at these. This is 10 times weirder than the classic hover hand. With a little bit more to the left. Yeah, I paid $400. I just want to, she in the shot? Cool. Every week at mtlblog.com, I go through hundreds, literally hundreds of your Instagram pictures looking for the best shots of Montreal. And this week, Higgins Shoe One took a really fun picture of this city, some kind of bubble magician guy. Check out Higgins Shoe One's account and check out MTL Blog's Instagram account. And the next time that you're not Instagramming the food that you're eating, take a look at Montreal, because you might find something interesting. And hashtag at MTL Blog, and it might just make it in next week's video. Now that's gonna be it for this week's episode of Anchorman MTL. Make sure to check out mtlblog.com for the best desserts in this city, what to watch on Canadian Netflix this month, and the latest and greatest of what this city has to offer. People ask me if this is a playoff beard. It's not a playoff beard, this is a life beard. Hockey players grow a beard during the playoffs to ward off superstitions and evil curses. I'm just applying that logic all year round. So far, it's working pretty well. I have superpowers.